Let's go. Hey guys, my name is Joe Sebastian. I'm a registered nutritionist and dietitian, and this is your daily habit. Today we're going to talk about bloating. Bloating is a completely normal experience. Oftentimes, we associate this or use it to rephrase the words, I feel fat. But here's the thing, bloating does not necessarily equal weight or fat gain. This is usually just a response to your body digesting food or maybe even reacting to certain differences in your day. We're not lab experiments that have the same environment, same temperature, and same things that we have to do every single day. So bloating will definitely vary. Bloating varies depending on the amount of food you eat. Food volume changes, of course. If you eat more, you'll be a little bit more bloated. The types of food you eat, maybe it's something that's high fiber, high gas forming, can make you feel a little bit more bloated. Time of the month, in terms of the hormones, there's water retention, alcohol consumption, skipping meals and consuming large meals that your body was not prepared for, medications, and other factors that affect bloating. But again, bloating is completely normal, and it's something that we go through on a daily basis. However, if you're feeling like you're bloated and it's super distended and painful and causes much harm to your day, like you can't focus because there's just too much pain, then it could be a sign of maybe IBS, IBD, celiac disease, or other digestive problems that you have to go and check with your physician. But your regular bloating from day to day, totally normal. Here's a few tips that can help you reduce or manage your bloating a little bit more. Number one is to have regular meals. So this is avoiding skipping meals. The reason why is when we skip meals, we tend to have a much bigger meal later on that causes more intense bloating because our body was shocked by the amount of food that it had. So having those regular meals throughout the day at the specific times that are usual will allow your body to feel comfortable and be prepared when it's about to eat. Number two is drink enough water. Sometimes we skip the water because we think, oh, water's just gonna make me bloated. But actually, water can help you decrease bloating in the long run, especially as it helps prevent water retention and helps your body flow and metabolize and digest. Number three is to get fiber in, but make sure you're doing it slowly. If you're not used to getting enough fiber, then adding a big chunk of fiber throughout your day can cause extreme bloating as it's gas producing. So you can slowly increase your fiber until your body is used to it and your bloating normalizes. Number four is get potassium in. A lot of the times we are constantly thinking no sodium, no sodium, no sodium. But one of the ways to actually counteract sodium is to add more potassium. They kind of exchange when they're in the cell. When sodium enters, potassium exits, and the other way around. So when you add more potassium in your meals from spinach, potatoes, or bananas, this can really help counteract the sodium. And the last tip is to find your trigger foods. One of my trigger foods is carbonated drinks. If I have more than this much, I will bloat and be super gassy. So your trigger foods will be very different from person to person and even time of the day, but find which ones make you bloat more and find the amount that you need so that you can still have it and not feel uncomfortable. So again, bloating is a completely normal thing, a sign of digestion and something that we should not be afraid about or ashamed of. It's something that our body does and we just have to accept it and manage it. My name is Joe Sebastian. I'm a registered nutritionist and dietitian and this was your daily habit. I'll see you guys in the next one.